Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Control Z Creations, and I'm giving you guys this tutorial today on how to add a shake effect in After Effects. This can be used on pretty much anything that you want to use it on, and it's used very commonly in intros, and it's really easy to do, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys a simple explanation on how to do it. So, I've already rendered an animated text object in Cinema 4D, and I've added it into After Effects. So now I'm just going to play that so you guys can see what we'll be working with. Alright, so that's about it. So right when the text stops wiggling, that's when I'm going to want to add this shake effect. So right about here is where we're going to want to start. We're going to drag this, the, current, the time indicator, to where we want to start and we're going to go down to transform and we're going to tick the keyframe for position and so this keyframe will be marked here and now we're going to go to the ends where we want the shake effect to stop and in this case I'm going to want it to stop at the ends of the animation so I'm just going to drag it all the way to the ends and I'm going to click keyframe so now we have these two keyframes on here. This is where we're going to want the shake effect to start, and this is where we're going to want it to stop. So we're going to select both keyframes, and we're going to go to Window, and we're going to click Wiggler. Now you'll see in this little window, Wiggler will pop up. Now we want to apply to Spatial Path. We want the noise type to be jagged, and all the all dimensions are independent so now we're gonna I'll, I'll explain the frequency and magnitude frequency is how often the image gets pulled away from the center or the the animation gets pulled away from the center and the magnitude is how far so I'm pretty much just gonna put on a 15 frequency and let's leave it at an 8 magnitude and with both keyframes selected, I'm just going to hit apply. And now whenever we watch this, you'll see that it shakes. Alright, so you can see that it shakes and it'll add all those keyframes for you. And that's really all you have to do. You just may want to play around with the, f the frequency and magnitude. But... Other than that, you know, if you add maybe blur to it when a collision happens, you know, add some shake and some blur, it gives it a real nice effect, and you may want to try that. But other than that, that's pretty much just how you add shake in After Effects. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.